Hi everyone, welcome back to Loco Skates. As you can see, we're in a new spot. We're at the new Loco Skates for the first time. It's been a minute since we've been on YouTube, but we're gonna talk about the new Loco Skates later because we're not quite finished building yet. Uh, today, we're gonna talk about the USD Aeon Skate and we're gonna go for a skate on these in a minute. So I'll put a timestamp. If you wanna fast forward us talking, please feel free. Um, but the reason that I haven't done a USD Aeon, personally I haven't done a USD Aeon review yet on our channel, is because I've actually been waiting for this particular one. This is the USD Aeon Sam Crofts skate. And luckily we're here today with Sam Crofts himself, by coincidence. <laughs> Just turned up. <laughs> <laughs> You've been, he's been sitting in the corner for the last 10 months <laughs> waiting for this moment. And here he is. When you buy a pair of sound skates, he just randomly turns up. Oh, is that, is That's that what, what it happens. is? Yeah. Cool, man. How's it going? Yeah, not bad, mate. Yeah, all good. Cool, cool. Can't complain. So I'm looking forward to skating the skate. I'm looking forward to just discovering a bit more about it. Um, I've been wanting to skate Aeons for, for so long. I've, I tried them briefly like when they first came out. And, um, but since then I've not really like had a proper skate on them. And mm. one of the things that I, uh, one of the things I didn't like about the Aeon when I skated it briefly was that it felt really light. It sounds funny to some people, but it didn't, it didn't feel like super solid under my foot and super dampened, like I like a skate. And this is why I was so excited for this model because it's got the skin on top. Um, and the skin, like, I guess it adds a little bit of weight, but mainly it adds this kind of sound dampening Effect. Yeah, this is what um, Nick said this when we sent out a pair of the red ones. He noticed how it became just like a, just a dampener as such, just like made everything just feel a little bit more solid, a little bit more secure. The cuff grips a little bit nicer against the outside of the skate as well. Just generally feels a little bit more solid. Yeah. Obviously your wheels are like underneath your feet mm -hmm. and it was felt very bottom, you know, the weight was all distributed under your foot and just maybe having a little bit extra, like something you, on top. Do you not like that feeling though? The foot being super low on it, so it almost feels like the skate's like an extension of your foot rather than... You know, when I get a sway or something, for example, I can just feel like my foot, then the sole plate, then the frame, then the wheel. Whereas this, it feels like just like skate, then wheel almost. Like when uh, you're pumping in a yeah. bowl, like you get a real good. Right. And I'm, I'm kind of the other way around. Yeah, I like yeah. a raised heel and I like, a, sure. I like it to feel like there's quite a lot of like, plastic between yeah. my, my foot and the floor. Uh -huh. Just for like pure like shock absorption or like energy transfer or something. I don't know. It's just a Yeah, thing. I mean, that's kind of the, the thing about Aeons. I mean, yeah, it's got the good energy transfer, but obviously energy does transfer both ways. So shock absorption not the best like you know for yeah. gaps and that you can yeah can be prone to a heel bruise yeah depending cool. on how big they are i guess well i won't be doing any gaps today <laughs> i'll just be <laughs> casually like just testing some guys not a leap in brighton i can't go do brighton leap or anything <laughs> i mean I'm, I'm sure you'll find one <laughs> but yeah so they look cool man they look like the loco aeon skate down to the uh the silver yeah, silver um, branding on the side there. Any inspiration from from that? Yeah, the silver logo. I will give you that. I definitely did like the, the loco silver logo there. But originally, when designing this skate, <laughs> so so we're in this new industrial estate, and is that an uh, ice cream van? It, it, it's, it's like a sandwich van. Which sandwich van is that? The ice cream van oh. is about twice as noisy as that, and it does come in about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, right. So copied loco for that. Um, <laughs> just for clarity, we're not saying we're, I'm trolling Sam. And, yeah, uh, I mean, like we, you know, we, we, we don't we didn't invent the black and white skate. I, was there, I mean, the Mushroom Blade guys did it the other day. There's some funny posts saying, like, who wore it better? There's a picture of this, oh, yeah, yeah. a Mesmer, Mesmer, and a 909 with a white bottom. Yeah. So, I mean, essentially, yeah, it's a black and white skate at the end of the day. But, yeah, I definitely took some cues from the Loco skate with the silver touch. But, again, just sort of wanted to add my own little spin on but that. But it's better than the Loco skate because it's got the, um, well, it's got metal core wheels. So, super fast on the metal core wheels. Super fast and it's got the, um, the skin obviously on top, which, and the other thing about the skin is actually, well, the problem with an Aeon, as everyone knows, is it's painted on top mm -hmm. and, um, you know, the paint comes off. So that solves that problem. It, it, it yeah. stays black. It doesn't, you know, uh -huh. scratch off like the paint. And the other thing you've got is these really cool corduroy liners. Like yeah, are. so that's my new pro uh, second skin liner, which it's it's got, got the corduroy pro, top. Pro geography teacher. Pro geography teacher liner. But liner. I've noticed, um, or what I've added on here, is an extra strong exterior there. So if you notice normally, you can see where there's like, it wants to make a hole there. But you know, people yeah. that were skating mm. second skins will be noticing this. You can, they can be prone to splitting here. But this one I've been skating, not just in this sample, but in like my on 80s, my on 72s, and all my other neck skates and stuff. It's got like a really reinforced exterior there. Is it literally like a different, a different liner material. to the second skin, the normal second skin? No, it's the exact same silhouette, 
but just stronger exterior it's materials strong, here. Okay. And a cooler at top. The yeah. size that is essentially the exact same line. Yeah. Oh yeah, and your section, which uh, we just watched your your uh, promo section for the skate, which were, I think you're releasing tom tomorrow. So tomorrow. if you're watching, what, by the time you watch this, it will be out and you will have seen it, most of you. And if you haven't, I'm gonna link it in the description. But uh, as you will probably know, it's absolutely mental. And it's nine minutes of pure hammers. How do you feel? Are you happy? Don't yep. play it cool. You happy? Yep. There yeah, you go. definitely very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Worked hard. Happy it's come through as it's it is. It's one of the better, you know, you always impress you and it's always nice to see in this day and age, like people coming out with that absolute hammer sections because you don't see it that often and it's a pleasure to watch. The St. Paul's, this is, this is not the section in the background. This is the last one, obviously. Yeah. But it might be on behind you. Is it behind, on behind you? Uh, yeah, it is. It was. Just finished. <laughs> That's yeah. when. Mm -hmm. um, the St. Paul's, trick the simple the gap to soul at st paul's ledge yeah uh, um, that, was, that was the ender it's look yeah it's pretty mental and ender yeah so took two trips to go and do it uh first trip obviously got very injured as you can see in the intro um took like a very bad sprained ankle and was out for the next like three and a bit months and then took some time to recover once i was properly recovered basically went back to get it done because that was the last trick that i needed for it that's why I did it last, because obviously being a more dangerous trick, they want to sort of write myself off midway through filming. And uh, yeah, so it's a trick that I've been thinking about for quite a bit of time. Like, and respect for, respect for not doing it and then going back, like how many, was it months later, three months later, did you say? Well, yeah, it was after I was injured, basically. It's yeah. like, I was injured for three and a bit months, but went back and they four just months later. Down, so yeah. I basically went back a couple of weeks Sick. after getting my ankle better. Amazing. So it's a bit like, you know, Mixed emotions going back. I was like, oh, if I go and injure myself again straight away after getting injured on something, I probably feel like a bit of an, bit of an idiot. But luckily, it did work out fine. So, you know. Well, let's go and have a little skate. Let's go and find a skate park. We don't. We're, it's, we're quite new here, and we've not found a, a nearby skate park yet. But we're going to go and try and find a skate park somewhere. I'm going to have a go on these. I'm going to make some comments on them. <laughs> You're going to get get involved. I'm going to see if they uh, live up to all my expectations. You ready? Yeah. Let's go skate. Let's go. All right. Okay, here we are for the first time at a local skate park since we moved. Well, we've not, we've not been to the skate park at all. So this is now our local and it looks pretty decent. Oh, clip, kind of. It's got a little bowl corner, little down ledge here, square rail, down ledge, porter rail. Right there, mate. <laughs> Sam Crofts. So, um, and yeah, look, I've got the brand new nails. So that's a recoil inner sole. So that molds to the shape of your foot. It's extra thick and long. So you I've can not see seen it. Is, have we had these before? These are the ones that come in the aftermarket um, second skin liners. And they're also available separately. But I wanted one that would fit in mine. So ever so slightly thicker than the standard one just to give you a little bit extra shock absorption and a slightly higher um it looks really shaped padding. like and really like it looks really different to anything like I've straight seen out of the box it's like yeah. was well, it's kind of almost a bit overshaped but that will like compress into the shape of your foot and mold very nicely so they they feel instantly feel really nice I'm not just saying that and um i was surprised because I, I wasn't concentrating there. i put them on and then looked down um they just look really compact and really cool and they, and they, they take a different shape at the front because of the skin. Um, they look a bit like, you know, wide obviously, because they've got a little bit extra material. I really like it. First roll. They're absolutely rapid. I did stick a bit of wax on that rail if you want to give it a go. Oh, they got away from me on the landing there because they were quite, they're just fast. They just roll really fast. So the sole feels like, feels f like fast. I know I've heard people talk about Aeon soles and the speed of them, but I get it straight out of the box, they're absolutely fine. I don't know whether that's something later that yeah, if they slow things. down or whatever. Okay, little, little Royale just to test. Oh my God, I'm going so fast. 
<laughs> I told you the apex wheels are quick, man. I just like, uh, yeah, I was not in control of my speed. I got, got to about two feet in front of the rail and I was like, oh no, I'm going about 20 miles an hour. Should we try a backslide, see if that works? I see a backslide. Yeah. Big. So they do, they are, they like controlled straight away. I'm just gonna give a first go at a uh, groove, like see how much the groove catches up because that's one of the main features of the Aeon, which is great about the Aeon, is that it, it, you've got this massive split in the middle of the wheels because you don't have any UFS bolts, of course. Uh, the one piece unibody frame. So yeah, let's see how, let's see if I can do a Royale on a square thing without too much sticking up. Yeah, and do you know, it was, um, it was like a terrible Royale. I, I like did it, I didn't lean into it very much at all and I still kind of got a get out of jail free card on that one because it's, it still didn't stick up properly on the, on the groove. Off. A lot of lenience there, I think. Felt so, that was a, a test of the yeah. dampeningness. Yeah. It felt like a like a stomp. Okay, top side test on square. Yep. I think the big test there for me is like, again, with the wheel bite, less on the top side, but just making sure the wheels don't, don't bite on the top on the square. Felt fine. Oh no. You're probably a top sunny and shorts kind of guy, aren't you? Uh, I have been. You like to ruin the shins. Okay, so regular viewers will know that we often try the torque slide test as part of these skate reviews, but you'll also know that I can hardly ever do it because I'm so terrible at torque slides. So here's the torque slide test, and I apologize for the monstrosity of a torque slide that you might see. Oops. It, well, it's better than like some of the other skate reviews where I just stick up and fall over straight away. There's a, there's a chance. Oh, yeah. Huh. That felt good. Like, I think that's sick. I can't do talk slides at all, and I've, like, I'm juiced off that. I really like the skates. Um, I might just kind of do a quick sum up. So, uh, firstly, they feel rocket fast. And we knew that was gonna happen because they're the one-piece boot but the aluminum core wheels, I suppose they're making a difference. Hard to say without te AB testing them, but it can't be, can't be making them slower, that's for sure. Grooves out the box were absolutely fine. No issues, everything felt really nice. Soles didn't feel slow yet, but I know that some people have talked about that later on. So come back to me in a few weeks, I'll tell you how the soles are going. Line is super comfortable. This, uh, um, this does actually, like I genuinely, wanted to do like an objective review. I didn't want it like you to be here and be like, oh yeah, they're, fucking, yeah, they're amazing. They're the best skates ever. I do genuinely really like them. I'm uh, trying to think of a bad thing I can say. Can't, can't, I, I genuinely like, yeah, there's no comfort issues. I, I thought the cuff, that's the other thing. I said, last time I tried them was the cuff, wasn't it? It's a different cuff. And it felt a bit like stiff at the top and like diggy in at the top. And that's not the case with these in the slightest. They, they were good up in this occasion, which is the way I would skate them. Um, yeah, everything's great. Uh, I feel actually solid, yeah, after what we said earlier, the, the solidity on them. There's no plasticky, hollowy sound when I land, and that is the case 
a little bit, I think, for some of the other Aeons without the skin on them. Man, I'm sorry to uh, be boring and just like say all the good things, but like genuinely, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm keeping these.